How are you able to build a, 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 a fan base so quickly? I, I guess genuine and realness. All you got to do is be real, be authentic. I don't have nothing against artists today, but I never was the kind of artist to be flashing guns and cameras and somebody killing you all day. And that ain't my swag. I couldn't do I had a, I had a chance to do that, right? Right. Like, I had a chance to make, like, just manifesting murder is what I call it. So I had that manifesting murder uh, music, right? Right. But at the end of the day, I said, yo, I got a party still. People are like, yo, why can you switch it up with EDM? But I'm like, yo, I had that on my first album. Right. I was, I just wanted to rock with everybody. Right. I wasn't, I was entertaining. Right. Because I knew I was a shit rapper. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to be the best entertainer. That's something I know y'all not going to mess with me with. I know, but when I came out and doing music, Recession was out. Right. Yeah, I think I came out in 08, 09. Right. It was Recession. Right. You know what I'm saying? Rappers was on stage, like, being cool. I came out headbanging. I, and I see just from the era of me coming out, I see what it created. I see now we on festivals. I used to be the only rapper in our era on festivals. Right. They used to be like, festival? What the fuck is that? I might just take pictures at festivals. He's like, damn, you got a big fan base. I'm in America. My my label was like, yo, I gave him this album called Friends, Fans, and Family. They was like, nah, we don't want this. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all want me to just keep talking about killing people and girls sucking my balls all day? Like, yeah. that's crazy. I got a daughter. Right. I got little brothers. I got little homies. So I went overseas myself. I ended up me, me and my friend break. We ended up going over there, taking us a, a cameraman that speak French, learn English through rap. And we went all through Europe, all through Germany, all through Sweden, everywhere, and rocked all the festivals. And I, because I, I seen this quote, there's like, a picture say a, th a thousand things. So all I did was just keep taking pictures everywhere. I was damn near paying for some of the festivals to get on. I ain't care. I knew I was a star. Right. Once they see what, what I got going on, they go love me. So every time I perform, they're like, yo, we'll give you 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever to come back. Yo, you amazing. You're not like other rap artists because American artists had shitty names back then. Right. They're like, American artists come charge a lot of money and give a shit show. Right. That's what they always said. Yeah. So it was pretty good. When you came out, you came out hard, hard in the paint. Oh, let do it. So hard in the paint. How did that come about? Is that because, like, hey, I'm here, I'm going hard. Oh, yeah, so this was hard in the paint was. I'll call, like, it was inspired, inspired by LeBron James. Okay. And LeBron James never was alive. That song would never be out here. Right. So I was like, damn, yo, LeBron's my favorite player right now. Yeah. LeBron and KD. So I'm like, yo, you know what I got you, LeBron. I know right. what I'm going to do. I'm going, I'm LeBron in the streets. Okay. And I had a mixtape called LeBron Flocka James. Yeah. And that was the highlight song of the tape. Right. I wanted that to be an album. And the shit just blew up. And I know, like, like, I come from a background of whooping. If you don't know what whooping is, that's your fault. And I, I was like, man, if I go to the jungles, that'll just put some connection with the South and the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So I came to California, and I wanted to hang with every gang that was alive here because I wanted to unify it. I was more of a, like a brotherhood kind of guy. So I was like, shit, if I could make it in the jungles, then I could touch L.A. And I just wanted to touch them. I just want to let them know, bro, this shit bigger than the streets. Y'all folks got Hollywood by y'all. Y'all folks got a beach. Y'all folks living in an area where all the technology at, bro. If y'all just put that hammer down, bro, and put your ego where your nuts at, I'm telling you, you'll be real rich. And I want to show them, like, y'all risk my life to show y'all this. That's why I walked in there. I ain't walking there to be the hardest man on earth. I walked in there to show you, man, you got to be lawless and limitless if you want to get to the next level. And when I say lawless, meaning your laws, you don't live by what you, your rules and what you set in life. You got to be better and bigger. That's, and I'm just, I'm just that guy. I got to be better and bigger. How does it make you feel when you hear athletes playing your song? They're getting ready to go play on the foot, get on the field, play football, play basketball, and you hear them playing your songs. What, what does that do for you? Hell, shit, man. I ain't make new music in 2012, man. And to hear it play like it just came out yesterday here, you know, I don't even feel famous. Right. So I, I listen to that shit like it's somebody else, too. Right. It's, just, it's, it's the energy in it. What was it like when you first, the first time you heard your music played? Radio, you were the club. I was on the phone. You were on the phone. Yeah, my brother called me. Okay. My brother called me like, yo. My older brother, he, he funny as a motherfucker. <laughs> he, by the way, my older brother never had an enemy in his life. Right. He will call me like, yo, yo, Walker. Yo, these niggas stole your name. I'm like, who? I can, I can match his face. He's like, yo, you on here in the background? I hear, yeah. Oh, dude. I'm like, oh, shit, it is popping. Like, I'm in my head like, oh, shit. I'm like, nah, I don't know who that is, man. I'm like, all right. Next thing you know, he's going to the radio. You're like, yo, you're on the radio. I'm like, yo. I'm like, all right, I made it, nigga. It's yeah, yeah. up now. That was, that was, that's, that's when you know. Oh, it was over. So now you're you performing in the club. You, I mean, so when you started out, you go to clubs, you know, small clubs. I mean, they probably play in you. I what? still do it right now. You I still, still do the club a 300, scene? A 300 venue. I love it. I cannot stand big crowds. 
It's, it's all, to me, big crowd music is just like me digging in your pockets. Right. I got to be up and close to y'all. I have to. You if I do a stadium, I got to walk around the whole stadium. Right. I'm not even going to lie to you. I have to be around people. Like. You said, which city is your t- roughest? So when you don't have no VIP. You don't have. You yeah, have- I, I let everybody in the VIP. But that ain't even VIP there. Because it's a party. Like, who goes to the club the, the, the sipping and sipping chill? Yeah, but, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't I, hey. But and, I, that's the I, thing, though. I, you know? I, I'm, I'm older now. I can go sip and chill. Right. But I'm young. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to be here with the, my homeboys. Right. We about to be here with the club, buddy. Right. Like, that's how I am, man. It, got, it have to be a memory. Man, I'm looking at some of the collabs. I mean, the heavy hitters. A Drake, Lil Wayne, Future T.I., Rick Ross, Offset, Wale, Machine Gun, Fred. I mean, bro, when you're in the studio with these guys, because I remember the first time, and I, I, I'm going to try to equate it to something, going to the Pro Bowl. And my quarterback, I played with John Elway, but I go to the Pro Bowl and Dan Marino and Warren Moon and Jim Kelly. Later in my career, I got Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. And I'm like, okay. And the DBs are over there. I'm like, I got to put my – man, I got I to gotta show why. I got to show these guys why I'm over here. Yeah. When you get to the studio and you got these heavy hitters, do you like, damn, man, I got to bring it. Hell no, I just rap for my fans. I don't care nothing about them. You, and so you, Most you got- times I just send music like, bro, I'm telling you, Shannon, man, listen, basketball showed me it's about the people. Right. I don't care nothing about awards. All due respect to every artist out here. Man, F y'all. I'm for the people, man. I know the most- So you talented. making music for them? You ain't- Man, oh God, they made me. Fans made me, man. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be shit without people. So what I look like impressing a celebrity? What I look like trying to outwrap you? I'm trying to outwrap myself to make people love me some more. Right. So it's all about fans with me. I'm a fan for a guy in real life. Like, in real time, I have to fuck with the people. That's the problem today. People don't fuck with people. They just talk shit all day. That's why all this philosophical-ass uh, podcast is coming out there. Motherfucker, put that podcast in the neighborhood and talk. Get the fuck from behind the grease. Baby. That's why I be trying to tell young niggas that doing it. Like, bro, y'all too young. Go touch people. Let the OGs do that. Y'all got to touch people. Right. These people need that. When I was young, rappers and ball players, it was coming to our neighborhood. It, right. was, it felt good. Now, people get on Instagram and get shooken up. I wish I would. I still go talk anywhere in the world. I don't, man, I don't care how tough your neighborhood is, my boy. Because you just didn't see light yet. It's just dark over there. Right. When I put a light bulb in that motherfucker, it's going down. Right. First come the mosquitoes and everybody else. <laughs> do, do you ever get riders blocked? Do you ever get in like, damn. Where I want to go with this? Man, uh, no. Nah. Just don't want to do it. I just, it got to a point like, man, I, I like my music I already put out. Shit, why well, make it even more? I can't, and it's hard to rap with people. Like, what I'm gonna rap about? Uh, sleeping with the bad bitch, drinking. I don't drink lean, I don't pop pills. I barely drink liquor. I only just smoke puff a little bit. I can't rap with somebody that's 18 years old. What do we have in common? I'm not spending no block. I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase that motherfucker if I got to. That's my mindset. So why would I? I just don't got nothing in common with people. And then I'm just, we just got different styles. Right. These guys got mellow tone stuff. I don't, I can't go and sit like, you know, I'm in this thing and I'm tripping. I'm dripping and swagging. Man, I, I can't, I'll be bored. Right. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't be in that motherfucker harmonizing. I like the music, but I can't do that. I want to party. I want to yell. I want to. Right. I just I took a break. My music's still good. So why would I make another record for it? You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.